Welcome to World Edit 101. You either clicked on this video by accident or you're here because you're looking to take your Minecraft building to the next level, which is fantastic. Either way, I'm glad you're here. In this first video, we'll be covering the basics of World Edit to get you started, but if you already know your way around this tool, consider checking out some of the more advanced videos linked here in this playlist. So what is World Edit? Well, World Edit is a Minecraft mod that lets you execute large and complex actions in your world through commands, tools, and brushes, all to help you build bigger, better, faster, stronger, you get the picture. For example, say I had a simple house, but I wanted it to be two stories. Well, I could run the stack command and within seconds I now have a two story house or, or a 10 story house. You decide. This mod will help you convert your ideas into incredible Minecraft builds and save you a whole lot of time in the process. I won't go into detail about installing it because there are already tons of videos on YouTube about installing mods, but essentially you're going to need either Fabric or Forge, then download World Edit, pop it into your mods folder, and then go ahead and launch Minecraft with your chosen mod loader. So let's start from the start, making a selection. To run a lot of the commands with World Edit, we need to tell it which zone to affect. We do this by selecting an area with two commands, position one and position two. So let's make a selection. I'm going to stand on this red block and enter my first position by typing slash slash POS1. And then I'll go to the green block and I'll type slash slash POS2. Just like in vanilla Minecraft, we add a slash before the text to tell the game it is in fact a command and not a chat message. With world edit, we use an additional slash at the start to tell Minecraft that we are using a world edit command. I have now selected everything in that square at the level of my feet, and if I use the command slash slash set space diamond underscore block, it'll set everything in that area to be that block. World Edit makes it even easier by giving us a tool to do that, called the wand. We can get that by typing slash slash wand, or just getting the wooden axe from the creative menu. When I left click on a block, it selects it for me as position one. And when I right click on a block, it selects it for me as position two. This selection area can be as small or as large as you want. Just know that the bigger it is, the more work your computer is going to need to do once you run a command. This cuboid selection will become the foundation of so many things that you do inside of World Edit. The next thing we are going to look at is the Control C and Control V of Minecraft, the copy and paste commands. This is going to enable us to easily duplicate or move assets from one place to another. As an example, I want to place the house I made on top of this hill. Using the position 1 and position 2 commands, I will make a selection of the house. From there, I will choose a point to copy from and type slash slash copy. The game lets me know that I've copied everything in that selection with a chat message. It's important to note that the clipboard, the thing that you've just copied, will paste from the exact position that you copied it. Which, just like with the selection commands, is from your player's feet position. So if I copy from the corner of the house, I will need to paste with that in mind, knowing that it'll place from the corner of the house. As you can see, not only did it paste the house, but it also pasted all of the air around the house, destroying the surrounding terrain, which maybe we didn't want, bringing us to our next command, undo. We will use this to take one step backwards and undo our previous action. The reverse of this is redo, where we can take one step forward to redo an action. So this time when we paste the house, we are going to use something called a flag. This goes at the end of our command and essentially adds a rule to the action we want to perform. A lot of commands have different flags to perform different functions. In this case, we want to paste our house, but not the air around it. So we will type slash slash paste and then add minus a at the end, which means paste with our air. Very nice. With just these few basic commands, I'm sure you can already see the amazing potential of this tool. From here, you could use the rotate command on your copied selection to change its orientation and face it another way. The rotate command is also super useful for repeating features around your build if you rotate it bit by bit and paste it along the way. There is so much cool stuff you can make in Minecraft and this tool makes it so much easier to bring those ideas to life. So in recap, we use two slashes at the start of our commands to tell the game that it is in fact a command. Position one and position two help us make a cuboid selection of an area. Copy copies the selection at our feet and paste pastes it again at our feet. Using the flag minus A, we can paste without air. If we make a mistake, undo and redo can restore anything that went wrong. The set command will fill the entirety of our selection with the block we tell it to. Rotate lets us specify the amount of rotation on the selection that we have copied. If you found this helpful at all and want to learn more about other really useful world edit commands and tools, check out the full playlist. Good luck out there and have fun building.